All right. Hey, team. Welcome to our weekly Monday night huddle. I'm so excited to be back. Um, I feel like I haven't been away too long, but I guess just because I was on for the Jen Hawkins thing the other day. But um, so excited to be back. Um, it's funny because like the first couple weeks after I had Isaiah, I was like, oh, my gosh, how in the world am I going to do this whole thing again? And then like last week I was messaging with Trist Tristan. And I'm like, do you have any content? Because I kind of want to like share. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm ready to be back, hopefully, um, but have missed all of you guys so much, and it's good to see your faces on here tonight. Um, so just a couple, actually, we have a few announcements I wanted to go over real quick. So Thursday night, you guys, um, hopefully you saw the posting on Journey Tour Diamond. We are having our VIP event. So it's Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard. It's going to be a 30-minute Zoom. So we're doing it via Zoom, so the same format. The whole goal of it is to reach out to your dream teamers, those people that you know have what it takes to run with this. Maybe they, they have big networks, they're influential, they genuinely love people and want to help people. Whatever the case may be, you know that you want them on your team. So you need to be reaching out to those people and genuinely sharing why you're reaching out to them. I know that can be kind of scary, but um, I know if somebody reaches out to me and is genuine and authentic and like talks about my strengths and why they want me on something, even if I'm not interested, I'm going to, I'm going to remember that and it's going to be memorable and you know, I'm, I'm going to cherish that. So, and the whole point is to let them know this is an exclusive event. I'm only, I only have two spots to invite you to that way they realize, okay, like she really, there is a purpose to her wanting me on there. So what we're going to do during the event is we're going to go over what is Flexus. We're going to go over the basics of some of our products and share a product testimonial. We're going to talk about the business, the basics of the business. We're not going to go deep in a comp plan or anything like that. Um, but just highlight the business and the perks of it and share a business testimonial and then close it out with like a call to action and anyone that's on there um they're going to get the chance to win an echo dot so that's pretty exciting and a good reason to reach out to people um so that is thursday night there's other teams that have been doing these and they have been having a really great response um so we're going to give it a try and see how it goes so start inviting your people to that um, let's see next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you know, those three day parties that we had been having, um, and people have been seeing awesome success from, we are going to do a team. Hang on. I'm hearing some feedback. Let me see here. Um, if you don't mind muting yourself, if it's loud on your end, thank you, hon. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a team wide one next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll get that group created and send you guys the information. Um, but we're going to give a group one a shot. That way we can just reach as many people as we can before the end of the month, give them some great information, um, and give some giveaways and fun stuff like that. So more information on that to come, but those are an easy way to invite people to learn more about Plexus without it being salesy or gimmicky or anything like that. Um, we are going to be starting another journeys 101. So we had one in December and we had one, what last month in February, we're going to do another round. So we're kind of doing it every other month. So journeys 101, for those of you that don't know, this is a great opportunity for those of you who really want to take your business up a notch and take it to the next level and invest in yourself. So investing in yourself, your personal growth, um, and giving yourself some challenges that are going to stretch you and grow you. It's a four week challenge group. So more information to come on that, but I wanted to plant the seed for some of you guys who have gone through it and you know that there's people on your team that would benefit from it. I would start planting the seed with them now and letting them know, Hey, this is starting April 2nd. And I really think you would enjoy going through it and get a lot from it. Um, and then Illinois and Wisconsin girls, Nikki Hinkle woo, woo, and Sarah Taylor. I feel like Sarah Taylor's like our aunt because you know how she's like, she's part of our family, just not direct line. Um, so they are coming to Springfield and Madison, May 8th and 9th. 
Um, so make sure you guys get there. It would be awesome for you guys to meet Nikki if you haven't had the chance. I know several of you probably have met her at convention, but it'll be great to see her again. Um, and that's it for the announcements. That was a lot. All right. So tonight, you guys, we are going to talk about this business is all about relationships, right? We talk about that all the time. This is all about relationships. Um, and we all know that the more, it's also about numbers. So the more people you interact with, the obviously the more people you're gonna ultimately be able to help with our products and our opportunity, right? So raise your hand if you use Facebook to grow your business. <laughs> Shocker, right? Okay, pretty much all of us are using Facebook to grow our business. I would say probably 95% of my business has been grown through Facebook. So Facebook is an awesome tool, but it can also be a huge distraction. Raise your hand if you ever go into Facebook with a purpose and 30 minutes later, you're like, holy cow, I don't even remember what I came here for. And you're like watching a cat video. <laughs> And it's nothing to do with growing your business, right? And you're looking at your IPA and you're like, I have no idea what just happened. Okay, so I'm not the only one. I really don't watch the cat videos, but um, so Facebook can be a huge blessing to us, but it can also be a huge time suck if you're not careful, if you're not disciplined, if you're not organized. So there are some tricks to help with that. Um, and I am going to share one tonight that I find super helpful for me. Um, for organizing different types of people, you know, because we're all going to have prospects and potentials. Um, we're all going to have customers. We're all going to have level one ambassadors. So it's, it's a great way. What I'm going to teach you all tonight, and some of you probably already know this, but um, I'm going to teach you how to organize your Facebook friends into a list. Has anyone utilized Facebook list? Jill's not in their head yet. Okay, awesome. So Jill has, has anyone else? Use Facebook list. Okay, I'm seeing some shaking heads no. Okay, so this is gonna be a great way to organize your people based on how often you need to be interacting with them. You know, obviously, you know who your level ones are. You can go type their name in and all that, but that takes time, you know? Like if I wanna see what so-and-so is doing, it's gonna take me time to type everyone's name in just to keep up with them. Well, what if I had a section where I just clicked on that and it showed me all their status updates? So then I can make sure I'm continuing to interact with, with everyone that I need to interact with. Um, and obviously for your prospects and your potentials, the more you're interacting with them, and all of you probably know this, but the more you're liking and commenting on their specific posts, what's gonna happen? Your posts are gonna show up to them, which is huge, but not only that, when they see, oh, Jill Foster just liked my post, her potential is going to be like, oh my gosh, I've been meaning to reply to her message. You know, like people aren't trying to ignore you on purpose. And if they are, then they don't need to be our Facebook friend anyway. Just kidding. Um, but, you know, they forget they're busy. So when they see, oh, Amber just liked my, and commented on my picture, I forgot to tell her how I liked her, how I liked the sample. So it just plants those seeds. It's like another way of following up almost. Okay, so you have a, imagine you have a bunch of dream teamers, put them in a Facebook list. Um, if you have a growing list of level ones, you know, your level ones are growing, put them in a Facebook list. Um, if you want to keep interacting with your customers, because we want to keep interacting with them and seeing how they're liking their products, um, put them in a Facebook list. So Facebook lists are going to help you organize your relationships that you can stay focused and effective while you're using social media to grow your business. So you're not just watching those cat videos. Okay, so no more Facebook time suck. This is about time freedom after all. Um, this business isn't worth it if we're on Facebook all day and not paying attention to those that are actually around us, right? Like our families. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to screen share real quick. Hang on, I'm gonna check the chat. Oh, Facebook discipline, Kayla. Yes, totally hear ya. Okay, so let me see if I can share my screen. I haven't done this in a minute. Desktop. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to take you all to my Facebook. Let me see if you guys can see it though. Um, do you guys see my Facebook? Can you give me a thumbs up? You see it? Okay, perfect. 
All right. So let me see here. I am going to show you. So this is when you're on your desktop, your computer. So you're going to come over here. Hang on. Let me close this out. Okay. So you're going to come over here and click on the Facebook icon. And you guys can still hear me, right? Sometimes my screen sharing is crazy. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to this little thing and it says friend list. Is anyone on Facebook right now and can verify that you can see this? I can only see Amy, Randy, and Kayla in the thing. So maybe if you guys turn on the chat. Um, okay. Well, I'll just show you because I've got the recording going anyway. So you're going to scroll down here and click on friend list. All right. And then you can come here and create lists. So not all of these are lists that I've created. Some of them are just based on like information I've put into Facebook. And if I click on it, it's gonna bring up people that have that in their description or their about me section. So like obviously I live in the Woodlands, Texas area. So if I click on that, it's gonna show me other people that live in this area that put that in their description. But these are the two lists that I created. My level ones, so people I've, put in, I've personally signed up, and then potential rock stars. That's what I named my list of people that I want to make sure I am liking and commenting on their stuff, right? So you come up here and you just simply create a list, click create list, give it a name. So say you want it to be your customers or whatever. Um, so you're staying in contact with them via Facebook. And then you just type someone's name in. So I'll just use my sister as an example. So you go here and then you create list. So here's the kicker. So these people don't know they're in a list. You're not creating a Facebook group. You're not adding them to an event. You are simply trying to organize your people based on what status they are right now. If they're a dream teamer, if they're a level one, if they're a customer, you get the idea. Okay. So um, so they don't know, oh, Amy just put me in a Facebook list. <laughs> like, so don't freak out like that people know that. So this is just a way for you to customize it. So now when I want to add people, so say I want to add Tristan, she's a customer of mine that never orders anymore. Just kidding. <laughs> well, so it should bring up her name. Okay, there she is. So you can just go in here and add these people. And then you go back down to your friend list. And say I want to know what my customers are up to and I don't want to go type in their names or scroll Facebook looking for them. I just click on customers and it's going to show me the most recent things that they have done on Facebook. Isn't that cool? So it's showing me Elena, what she just did. She posted this a couple hours ago. So this way I can go in. So she posted this in her team page. I can go in and like it. So this is an easier way to interact with those people. So say I had a couple more lists that I didn't want anymore. They weren't um, necessary anymore. So you can just go up here to customers and delete the list. And then it's deleted. So then you can kind of clean up your, your list from time to time if you need to. So let's go in here. So I'll show you guys. I already have a bunch of people in my potential rock stars. So um, say I'm just kind of foggy and I'm like, man, I don't even know where to go. Everywhere I go on Facebook, it's just showing me Plexus people's posts and I need to interact with people non plexus -y, but I don't know where to start. So I can go to my potential rock stars list. And these are people that I put in over time. You know, some of them are actually ambassadors now and I need to take them off. But um, so I can go in here and Jen Ecoff, she's, she's someone that I want on our team. Like I know she'd be amazing at it. She, I've never met her in real life. We met via Facebook. She lives in Nebraska. She is um, an entrepreneur at heart. And so I would go in here. She just posted rustic cuff. I love rustic cuff stuff. So I'm going to give it a like. So I'm interacting with these people. This is my best friend, Annie. So I obviously love her stuff anyways. So picture of her girls. Oh crap. I just clicked on it. My computer's super slow, by the way. So sorry about that. Hang on. Like, look at how slow this is, you guys. It's really crazy. Okay. Anyways, I'll like that later. But for example, Chelsea, Chelsea is an ambassador on our team now. So I added her to this list a long time ago. 
And obviously I never removed her from it, but I did add her to my level ones. All right, so let me, okay, so here. Casey, she lives in my neighborhood, would love to rock this business with her. So her son's playing baseball. Anyways, do you see how you can just go here and it's gonna filter out the people that like, it's gonna filter out all of you guys that are active in Plexus. That way I'm not seeing all your Plexus posts and having to scroll through them and get distracted by whatever would distract me. Okay, so let me see if I can stop the share. Okay, did that make sense to you guys? Um, what do you guys think? Does anyone have, let me check the chat. Does anyone have questions about that? And I wanna make sure you guys can see it from your phones even. Um, my, when I do it from my phone, it's hard for me to add people for some reason. So I'm hoping it's not hard for you guys and my phone just acting crazy. So I had to do it from my computer, but sometimes, um, I know it used to let me do it from my phone. But does anyone have any questions about that before I go on to the next little portion? Okay. All right. So I have a challenge for you guys. I'm going to post it on Journey Toward Diamond and let it be a challenge for everyone else too. But we know that this is all about relationships. And now that you have an idea on how to get organized, and you know create a list of those people that you know you need to be reaching out to those potential rock stars those dream teamers um we have a challenge so what is today the 20th so we still have almost almost two weeks left in this month this month feels like it's forever long so um we have a fun little challenge for just reaching out to people loving on people encouraging people um, you know, if, if it's time to talk Plexus or it's time to follow up with somebody about Plexus, go for it. But this business is really just about relationships and meeting people where they are. We know what we have. We know um, the opportunity that we have. We know the products that we have. Um, we know that everything we have can change lives. But it's not effective if we don't know what's going on in people's lives, right? If we're just throwing it out there and hoping somebody's gonna grab at it. Sometimes that happens, but the real beauty of this is when you reach out to somebody, you get to know what's going on in their life, and then organically, it you realize, oh my gosh, what we have, like I can't not share, or they start asking you even better, right? So we are going to have a little fun challenge to reach out to 100 people by the end of this month. So, who thinks that that's doable? If you just took the time and you spent it loving on people, messaging them, encouraging them, going to their recent status update and seeing what's new with them and messaging them about it. You guys were coming off, well, a lot of the Texas people were coming off of spring break. So a lot of people had fun things that they did over spring break. Those are easy ways to reach out to people and be like, oh my gosh, your you know, beach vacation looks so amazing, whatever the case may be. For those of you who are ready to, um, a really easy message to share with people about Plexus is, hey, Cindy, I know you've been seeing my Plexus post um, on Facebook. Have you tried it yet? It's an easy way to open the door if you feel like it's time to just go for it. That's a non-abrasive way to reach out about Plexus. So those of you who do this challenge, um, I'm going to show you. We have this little thing. I'm going to upload it to the team page, and I hope it's, you're able to print it right. OB printed some today, and they printed funny, but I think it was just because we didn't turn it right. Okay. So I posted this on the team page the other day, but for those of you, hang on, I'm so confused about my, um, okay, here we go. Let me get out of Facebook real quick. Okay. So let's see here. Wait for it. I don't think I screen shared. I'm like such a novice at this now. <laughs> you guys are like bearing with me. Okay, here we go. All right. Do you guys see this 100 contacts list? Okay, so there's 100 different spots on here, you guys, 20 in each column. Um, for those of you who fill this out and reach out to those 100 people by the end of this month, so you have until the 31st your name will be entered for a free bag of slim who could use a free bag of slim 
right? You can use those for all the samples you want to be sending out or just all the pink drink that you want to be um, consuming in April. So I'm going to upload that to the team page in the file so you have it easy. But um, start reaching out, you guys. Use the rest of this month to plant seeds, to love on people, to encourage people. Um, you know, create your Facebook list, get people organized, and then just go to town loving on people and meeting them where they're at. We know what we have works. We know it's going to change lives, but we have to be interacting with those people. And this is just Facebook lists are an easy way to get in Facebook and get out and then go enjoy the rest of your day and not feel like you have to be on Facebook all day so you don't miss your dream teamers future post, right? So, okay, let me end the recording real quick.